it's been so long. I really wanted to be consistent with my videos, but my computer's so old and it was giving me issues when I was editing my last one. And then I just got frustrated and life got in the way and now it's been like months. So I'm gonna do my makeup and catch you up on my life. A lot has happened in the past few months. I finally pulled the trigger and got a bodybuilding coach. It's something I've been thinking about for so long. I had these friends at the gym, my old gym, who did bodybuilding and they always said like you'd be so good, like you've got the great body type for it, blah, blah, blah. And I was getting so frustrated in the summer because I was like trying to still lose some body fat and I just wasn't seeing the results even though my calories were pretty low and I knew I needed help. So I, Daisy's squeaking away, can you not? So I finally got a coach. At the beginning, I really, we really focused on increasing my metabolic rate doing a reverse diet because I'd let my calories get too low and I was like, exercising too much so really been slowly bringing my calories up and decreasing cardio because in the summer I was probably eating around like 17 1800 calories and going on like a 45 minute walk with Daisy every day it was just taking a toll on my body so now we're up to like almost 2500 calories only doing cardio three days a week honestly my training has been pretty much the same I train like six times a week really focusing on building the shoulders. I feel like my shoulders have grown a lot. And the glutes for, that's what's most important really for the bikini division. And I'll probably compete in June. But yeah, now I'm eating like 2,500 calories a day, only doing cardio three times a week. And that's including, I play indoor in an indoor soccer league once a week too. So it's been really nice. It's bulking season. I'm feeling really good, feeling really strong. It's so nice to like have a plan and be guided. So yeah. The other really big thing that's happened in my life is I got engaged. Happened about two weeks ago, um, middle of October. I guess it's almost been a month now, but it was the best thing ever. Um, he proposed up Mill Creek Canyon. We a lot of times we'll go up there and do a little like fire and picnic, barbecue, make s'mores. So we just did that and he got down on one knee while we were taking pictures and it was perfect. And I knew the entire time because I'm a huge snoop and I can't help myself. Obviously like we'd been talking about it, um, like I gave him like some ideas of like what I wanted the ring to look like. I told him I wanted an oval stone with side stones and he kind of did the rest and looks great. I love it, I'm obsessed. So I knew it was coming and then a week before, like one day he got a package and he had to sign for it and give his birthday, which I thought was like a little weird. And so I asked him like, what did you get? And he didn't really answer. And then I like didn't really think that much of it until he left the box sitting out. Like it was empty, he left the empty box out and it was a big box, okay? But my Snoopy little nose went over and looked at the return address and Googled it and it was a jeweler so then I knew and he didn't wait at all, he did it that weekend. But it was absolutely perfect. He was a little mad that I snooped but. So I'm just like, been working, working, normal work, working out, training, and planning a wedding. I'm really trying to like plan a lot now because I know I'll be like grumpy when it comes to time to prep and diet for the show, which will be in June. I just had a call with my coach and I really won't have to start dieting until like beginning of March-ish when I don't know why my brain like assumed we would start in like July, like I mean, January that would be crazy so I'm actually getting ready right now to go wedding dress shopping for the first time ah which honestly I'm a little nervous about because I know my body's gonna change so so much um between now and the wedding because of my show and I'm just like a little fluffier than like I want to be for the wedding. So like I'm a little nervous like how I'm going to feel like trying these dresses on. But honestly like I feel really good about my body. Like I'm strong. Like I still have abs. I don't know. It's just a little hard to put on weight even though it's only like three to five pounds. So I wasn't really planning on going this week. And then my mom found this like sample sale 
of these like really nice dresses and that's on Saturday and literally on the website it says like if this is your first time trying on like this sale isn't for you so doing a little practice round to kind of see what I'm looking for like I have a pretty good idea I do want to do two looks which my mom is surprisingly on board for so I'm thinking like something flowy for the reception and like really simple and then something more fun, sparkly, tight for the reception. Did I say reception before? I meant flowy for the ceremony and then the fun, sparkly for the reception. And honestly, like, I feel really good about, like, everything I've got planned or, like, everything I figured out for the wedding. Like, I have my whole vision set. We've got our venue. I'm pretty sure we've got a photographer. I'm talking to some florists. So I'm really just feeling great about everything. A lot of people warn me, like, welcome to wedding planning hell. And I'm thriving. I actually used to want to do wedding planning and I still think it'd be super fun. I just ended up not really going that route, but I feel confident in my ability to plan my own wedding. But I want to like get all glam because I want to like imagine myself like how I'd look for a wedding. So that is what we're doing. Now mascara, the most important part for a blonde, I think. It's kind of a lot. The light's getting a little crazy. Hi Daisy. So I'm just going with my best friend Lexi and my mom is coming late because she has to work. I'm kind of nervous. Like, okay, so the sample cell is you have to like line up, get in line super early. Like we're probably going to wake up at like 6 a.m. to get our spot. And then you only get 40 minutes to try on dresses. And a normal bridal appointment is two hours. You only get 40 minutes. But like... You can get like 50 to 90% off like these designer dresses. I mean, it'll be fun regardless. I've been reading or I guess listening, watching, getting so many wedding inspo tips from TikTok. It's honestly a little overwhelming, but some of the tips were for like actually when you go wedding dress shopping. So I'm going to bring heels. I'm going to do my hair how I want it. I think I'm just gonna want my hair down and then bring like a clip or something to like see what it would look like with an updo too and I'm gonna bring nipple covers and some heels about the height like I think I'll want I'm feeling prepared okay I think I'm pretty much ready what does one wear to go try on wedding dresses like can I just wear sweats <laughs> that's what I'm currently wearing I didn't know what to wear, so I'm just wearing a sweatshirt, my sweatshirt that says fiance, and then leggings, just comfy. I'm like oddly nervous, even though I know I'm just like going to try on, like I'm not going to buy anything today, but ah, here we go. <laughs> I'm like really nervous. I don't know why. You're excited. I'm excited, nervous. Where are we going? We're on an adventure. <laughs> it's currently 5.56 and we're headed to get in line for the bridal sample sale. And we're gonna freeze our butts off because it's 23 degrees. Rookie mistake, we show up, everyone else has chairs and blankets. So I'm headed home, well I'm home, picking up chairs and blankets. Are you warm? No. You've got chocolate on your chin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you just say? Whose idea was this? It was your idea. Hi. Oh, uh, Rachel? You made it. My name. Yes. yes. Hypothetically, if 
everyone bought two and you were very last, you would still have far too many gowns from which to choose. But please don't everyone buy two. <laughs> we did it. We braved the cold. We got our time. We have to go back in like 20 minutes. So I'm just going to do my makeup so I can feel pretty when I'm trying the dresses on. I'm like nervous. <laughs> it's quite an experience. How many people do you think there were? Okay. I think we should go in just looking for the sparkly one. What do you think? That, you know, I think it's completely up to you. Well, I would like to be on the same page. Okay, I'm. this is your page. You only get 40 minutes, the whole appointment of trying on, picking dresses, trying them on. Mm -hmm. But they're just going to put you in a room and kind of know what you like and bring you stuff. You don't think you'll spend any time looking? I don't. I think that's probably the best. If, they, if they get a sense of what you like, you did a big glob over here on your sleeve. Oh, damn. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Went in with such low expectations. The first one we said yes to was the first one I tried on. Wow. She really could tell what Caroline's whole shtick was. Well, I came in with pictures and designers that I liked and I'm like, I was very specific about what I like. I don't think the two dresses could be more different, but they're just, they're both oh. perfect. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited. Are you crying a little bit? Oh, I have goosebumps. I'm so happy. Oh, it was worth waking up at 5 a.m. for. Yeah. And they were such a good deal. What, yeah, what, what, what was the, like, markdown? Um, I don't know percentage-wise. Like, one was at least 50. Uh-huh. Um, I think they were both about 50 off. Awesome. A little, maybe a little more. Yeah. <gasps> So, wow, 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 so exciting. I can't believe it. Well, thank goodness we went earlier. I'm so glad we did that practice round. Yeah. Yeah. How many things did you even try on? Probably six, not that many. Wow. I tried on way more at the other place. I mean, yeah, wait until they're custom fitted, but they already look like they're custom fitted. <sighs> um, and I love, I love the... I couldn't be happier. Enjoy. <laughs> we did it. I can't believe we did it. We did it. I got my dresses. I had such low expectations going into that and I knew exactly what I wanted. I showed her the pictures, I showed her the designers I liked and I said yes to the first one we tried on. I tried on a few more and then I just knew that the first one was it and I wanted to get something more fun for the reception. Daisy, something more... something fun for the reception and something more simple for the ceremony and I went in thinking I'm just gonna look for the reception dress like I can get something simple made like blah 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 and we had 40 minutes to get it done and we got both and I Daisy stop stop mm. and I couldn't be happier I can't believe it I feel like we've gotten so much done I've got my venue and food figured out Excuse you, are you the neediest dog ever? I've got my dress, I've got my photographer. Now I just need videographer and florist. And then I'm pretty much like all set with the big, the big things. I couldn't be happier. I was like on cloud nine, like right after. I was calling everyone. Like I felt like I got engaged again. I just can't believe it. Who knew it'd be worth waking up at 5 a.m. to go try and dress this for the second time. It worked. It was crazy inside. It would have been so fun to people watch, but like you don't have any time just to get naked, throw on a dress, see if you like it. And usually like the time before I'd spend probably like five minutes in each dress. This was like on and off in two if I like didn't like it. So I can't believe it. Now I woke up at five, but I think I'm still gonna go hit the gym. So gotta get it done. I just got home and got my Sephora sale package. I'm still on cloud nine about the dresses. I wish I'd gotten, could film more, but it was just like so chaotic. You only had 40 minutes in and out. I think I tried on like 
eight dresses and it was just crazy but perfect like I couldn't could not be happier. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna show you what I got from the Sephora sale. I actually did one like in-person purchase and then ordered some stuff that they didn't have in the store. And yeah, I'll show you what I got. So this deodorant, this is a repeat buy. I actually got two, I got one for my mom. The Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. Lasts forever, it's like really pricey for a deodorant. It's, I think it's like 30 bucks, but it lasts for a really long time. Smells good, it doesn't have that like deodorant smell. You just like smell good. Um, I really like this stuff. I'm trying the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I've heard really good stuff about this. I'm trying the Sephora, what is this called? Sephora Cleansing Balm. It's the French. My French is bad, so I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. This one, it was cheap. I saw on TikTok that like cleansing balms are great, but you don't need to spend a lot on a nice one. So I'm trying that. I got the Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder because I get kind of greasy. And then I got new shampoo and conditioner, the Day Moisture Monsoon Moisture Mask. And then I think this is what I'm most excited about. I haven't bought like a new eyeshadow in since college. Honestly, that's probably kind of gross, but I got this the Dior Backstage Eye Palette. I was really not sure which colors to get, and I ended up getting the amber, I think. So it's like a lot of reds that I don't know if I'll use the bright red. I think like these amber shades will look really, really pretty. So just we'll have a lot of bridal events coming up and wanted new makeup. I guess I'll show you the other things I got that I'm loving and then some stuff I'm not loving so much. Okay, these are the other things I got. I got the Rare Beauty Blush. I've had it in another color and I wanted something a little like more subtle. The one I had was Coral, but this is the color Encourage. Love it, I'm wearing it right now. Just like really subtle rosy cheeks. This is a repeat by the NARS Creamy Concealer. So good. I got this for like just blemish concealer like around my face. And then I got the YSL Touche Clat Concealer. It's like for more under eye like radiant stuff. It's kind of cool. It like comes in a little brush and you push this and stuff comes out. I am liking this. What I got that I'm not loving is this NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I just don't think it wears very well on me. Like I heard really good things about it. But it just looks like patchy at the end of the day. So I might return this. I'll just give it a little longer. Maybe like the Milk Makeup Primer, it'll be a little better. I love Sephora and I love that I have like more events to dress up all fancy for. So anyway, that's my life update. So many good things are happening. I just couldn't be happier and I just want to document the whole thing. So subscribe if you want to see more from me and my wedding planning and bodybuilding journey. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> Did you know? No. You have an idea? Yeah. Why? Um. Okay, we've been talking about it for so long. But did you think it was going to be today? Are you surprised right now? You didn't seem so No, I You knew! <laughs> I didn't know. I just had an idea. Well, Should I we take more pictures? 